As you know, I bought a storage unit that had 14,000 pounds of wood in it. Well, I took that wood and I made this. I also found a table that I turned into this and an antique dresser that I turned into this. Now you better buckle up because you're about to go on a very wild ride because this is a pretty crazy story. I didn't initially know that buying a storage unit would turn into us building the most epic balcony apartment garden this summer. But I'm not upset about it because we are well on our way to doing that. Well y'all, this is what happened after I purchased a storage unit and got all okay, that Okay, today wood. we're making the garden box. Got my tape measure, all my wood, my handyman. We're gonna get to work. We're gonna put it right over here. It's gonna be two feet. Tall. It's gonna have some legs, so let's see what we can get done. Got my tool back. We're ready to go. I started with the building of the garden box. It was quite comparable to the parting of the Red Sea. It was gonna be a project that was so crazy that I needed to recruit a handyman. Say hello to handyman Sam. He knows how to do anything. So I knew that we would succeed here and real good at that. Well, we got to work. First, we used a smaller saw that we did indeed find in the storage unit to cut down the thinner, bigger pieces of wood. And then there were a lot of chunkier pieces of wood. We used the bigger saw to cut the larger pieces of wood, but when we plugged it in, we realized that we could only cut wood at a 45 degree angle and technically it was broken. But handyman Sam figured it out. Like I told you he would. And he started cutting the wood at a 45 degree angle. And although we did have to change the design of the garden box a little bit, we were on track to completing this in just a few hours. I was really excited, safe to say. We got done cutting all that wood the way that we wanted it for the garden box. Let me tell you, here is where I left my faith in handyman Sam's hands. Cause I was very nervous to cut this, but naturally we all know that I had to try at least least once to see what we were working with. So I went all in for it. Full throttle. Like when you're playing hockey on a breakaway about to shoot on the net and then you miss and everyone is disappointed. Well, yeah, that's me here, shooting and missing. Let me try. But hey, I'm still learning how to become a builder and it is a lot of fun. <laughs> but I sure was ready to go full throttle, but it's safe to say that I needed a little bit of help. And just as I cut it, it broke. And the other baby saw broke too. So I think it's safe to say that my building days are just beginning. <laughs> So much for finding good items in the storage unit. But finally, we started laying our pieces together, binding it together, screwing everything in place, and it was looking pretty ready. I was so excited, and now all we had to do was basically paint it. I chose glossy white. And it's safe and to it's say that I'm a much better painter than I am as a woodcutter. Okay. All right, painting the garden box today. Here's a little time lapse. We did also have to add a layer of plastic inside the box to aid in humidity and to make sure the wood didn't rot below the plastic because the weight of the soil and the weight of the water mixed together would break the wood entirely or just make it rot. It was some pretty heavy duty stuff, this plastic. This is the plastic that we're gonna put in the garden box so that we can drill holes and then add the soil. The wood has a high chance of rotting. But the only problem was the plastic was so loud, it was quite literally disturbing. <laughs> All the dogs barking. <laughs> So I was nervous that my neighbors would get mad. They started to look out their windows a little bit and see this huge mess on my balcony. And, and the loudness of the plastic. I'm just honestly waiting for the day that someone makes a TikTok about their insane hoarding neighbor doing God knows what. But when they see the results, they're gonna understand and be glad that they had a neighbor like me, okay, promise. Aww. But then we started drilling some screws into the plastic to make sure that it stuck just right. We were gonna use staples, but thought these nails would be a little bit more sturdy and they were. And then we cut the sides of the plastic off to make it look very pretty and it was ready to add soil into it and plant some seeds like pumpkins giant ones beets carrots potatoes corn the juice you know all the good soups I'm, i mean the good plants now the garden box in my humble opinion was probably the most important project so that we can grow lots of plants but we also had a few other things that we had to get done here to make the most epic balcony garden this summer so i moved on next to the ikea wooden table that thing was worth like 250 dollars i decided to paint it glossy white like the garden box because white paint seems to be the theme of my garden this year but first i had to clean the table and chairs then i brought it outside to paint it i'm using this as an extension cord for the sander oh baby 
And for the table, I used interior paint since this was gonna stay inside. This is the table that we found in the storage unit. We're painting it white. This is, what is this called? Palm sander, not a palm tree, but it'll do for now. We found this in the storage unit too. Is that why it's called palm? You put in your palm and you turn it on. Two in one, primer and paint. We're gonna paint one side. We only got four cans. Should have enough. It's a very hard garden work. Then this is gonna be my table for inside. Put it on the wrong hand. I should put a mask on. You gotta keep moving with it, that's the trick. As if I've done this before. And I think that it turned out beautiful. Some of you are probably thinking, okay, you should have left it wood because wood's so pretty. Yes, I do agree, but it also... Something about white, I just really think it looks pretty. Don't come out. Oh my god. Do I just keep going? Do I need to shake it ever again? <laughs> we ran into an issue here. I have to go back to the hardware store and get more cans of spray paint. Fumes are so bad for you. I was wearing an N64 mask. <laughs> you know, Mario Kart, I got the spray paint. Five more cans, for sure won't run out. We just finished. Oh my god. Look how good it looks. It was looking so good, now it's chilling inside. My first gray hairs, and they're not even real gray hairs. Makes me nervous for the future. Oh, I'm gonna take a shower, please. But we also got these antique dressers, and they were too cool not to use. I did try to sell them on Kijiji, but three people tried to scam me on PayPal, so I figured, okay. Let's repurpose these for the garden, no? We got our paint brushes and whatever this is, waterproof wood protector. So I got some weatherproofing, some paint, and first I started out with the weatherproofing sealant so that it could go outside and not rot. I weatherproofed it. I added a full layer, had my handyman there with me that time, and a few days later there was a second layer that started to peel off. I don't really know what was going on, but ended up just peeling that layer off, and I added another layer of the weatherproofing stuff just in case. And then it was ready to paint over. I chose a white paint, of course. But this time I didn't have my handyman with me, so I didn't do as good of a job but I did get it done so it does look cute and I'm gonna add some holes in the drawers and then grow strawberries in it whole family of them to chill and grow and it'll be so cool all I know is that I had a cleanup and a half to go so I got my molly shoes on and I got off my big couch and I started the cleanup but instead of a 10 second cleanup it was a five hour cleanup but I did it and I got it all done and honestly I was very proud all of these three projects were quite fabulous I guess this is just the next part in building the most epic balcony garden for the summer. So stay tuned because next video I ordered a 3D printer so that we can print a ton of stuff for the garden and I also ordered a rock tumbler so that we can start decorating the garden with crystals and I'm also gonna build a greenhouse with the rest of the wood. I've got some round tables and some more wood. I also want to build something to help deter the squirrels so they don't infiltrate the dealer and find the supplier. So till next week where we not only take seeds from exotic fruits and grow them into full-blown houseplants that fruit but where we're building the most epic balcony apartment garden you've ever personally seen. And if it is not the most beautiful apartment garden you've ever seen, you'll, you'll personally call me. I'll give you my phone number, okay? Anywho. Thanks so much for coming along this wild ride. You can now unbuckle yourselves because I'll see you next week. Love you.